All right, y'all, welcome back to another episode of Ask Dr. Danny. Today, I'm going to go over nutrition and how it works, and I'll talk about various energies, and I'll talk about cell receptor sites. I want to talk about words and verbiage that you can learn pretty easily, but to give you an understanding that when you pick your foods and you pick your supplements and the things that you're putting in your body, they all contain nutrition, but what does that really mean? Like, what does nutrition really mean? And this is going to get into the study of epigenetics and genomics and how you influence your genetic code to maximize its ability to strengthen you in all areas of your life. Now, when you look at this and you look at these words that I've already written on my board here, when you look at the word nutrition, all the nutrition that we take in, whether it's supplement or anything that could carry some kind of energy or frequency is going to contain information. So nutrition is another word for information and information that is in your food is the nutritional components. So the nutritional components of your food is the information that it contains and the information that it contains is the energy in it. And there's various types of energy. It's very rare you can have just one type of energy in a food, okay? In a supplement, you might like taking CoQ10 is an isolated energy to create extra energy in the body called ATP because CoQ10 is a precursor to making ATP. That's another video for another day, but I think you get my drift. So nutrition and information, same word. The nutrition and the information of the things that you take in is energy. Those types of energy contain a frequency. That frequency or frequencies, depending on what you're taking in, has a vibration or an oscillation rate. That basically means that it's vibrating. It is oscillating really, really quick or really, really slow, depending on what it is. If you look at cells under an electron microscope, live cellular structures or live blood samples of individual cells, you can see them shaking almost like a tuning fork. If you hit a tuning fork, if you had an acute enough vision, you could see the vibration of those tuning forks oscillating back and forth, it's vibrating. It's vibrating because it contains energy at a certain frequency. Vitamin C, vitamin D3, all your B vitamins, all of your nutrition contains energy which contains frequency, which then carries a vibration and oscillation rate. Even the Bible says that everything that has breath, praise God, right? But really in the original languages it says everything that vibrates, everything that he spoke out into existence, everything that has energy and vibrates, praise God. It's pretty interesting. So everything comes down to design. There's nothing random about anything. It's complete, perfect design, which is why vitamin C does what it's supposed to do. Vitamin D has a job, it does what it's supposed to do. Magnesium, manganese, phosphorus, molybdenum, calcium, all of these different minerals. Any nutrient you have has a specific frequency, a specific vibration and oscillatory rate, which then creates some kind of metabolic and response in your body. So when it creates a metabolic response in your body, it can be good or bad, depending on the nutrition you're taking in. That metabolic response has absolutely almost, not completely, but almost everything to do with receptor site affinity or cell receptor site affinity. What does that mean? That basically means that when you have your cell, let's go double phospholipid bilayer, you have receptor sites. I'll put it out here, it looks like a gigantic Y upside down. This is to receive, receptor means to receive. So when the nutrition comes into this receptor site, it contains the correct vibration and oscillatory rate to attach to this specific receptor site. So let's say you're taking in vitamin D3, hopefully in oil-based form because it absorbs better in oil-based form. So if you have D3, you can see that. Vitamin D3 is gonna contain a certain amount of energy, its frequency, its vibration, oscillatory rate, which will match up with a vitamin D3 receptor site. Vitamin D3 cannot attach to a vitamin C receptor site. It can't attach to a receptor site that takes in a hormone like testosterone or estrogen. It's a D3 receptor site because it's a specific lock and key, a specific vibrational oscillatory rate, which creates the metabolic, metabolic response to attach to that receptor site so it can be drawn into the cell and be utilized as vitamin D3. Everything works that way. So when I talk about exactness or precision or how that works, let me give an example. I play guitar. We're talking about frequencies, so you can talk about frequencies when you tune your guitar, whether you're tuning, it, tuning at like a straight A440 or you're tuning at well, I like the two down a half step, it just sounds better and you just get a better crunch out of the guitar, right? So all these six strings are supposed to be E, A, D, G, B, E. Each note has its own frequency. 
But if I mess with the frequencies, the guitar becomes out of tune. If you mess with your frequencies, you're trying to get your body back in tune or it's currently out of tune and you need to get it back into tune. So a perfect example, let me just play an E. I'll play with one of my little tuners here, a fine tuner, and you'll be able to hear the evenness of the sound waves get disrupted. We're looking for evenness of sound waves. So watch, I'll just play an E. It's pretty even. Just in the key of E, right? Or the octave of E, the frequency of E. Now I'll mess with the tuning on it. Kind of went down, didn't it? Now watch. Doesn't sound right, does it? Bring it back up. See how that evened out? That's in tune. What if I mess with the A? There's an A. No. Sounds horrible, doesn't it? There it is. How about a D? That doesn't sound right. There it is. Both strings sound the same. So what we're trying to do is get you in tune, which is why I started this whole channel. So what I'm going to teach you in naturopathic medicine is to get your energy frequencies, your vibration, your oscillatory rates correct, keeping you in tune. Your brain's running the whole thing. You are an entire orchestra of vibrational energy. Not getting new agey. I'm just talking that you're a carbon-based, protein, mineral-based, water-based physical being, the physical aspect of you vibrates all the time. The question is, is it vibrating correctly? Right? So you have to be in tune. Let's try it again. That sounds horrible. Not bad. All right, so that does it for today. I'm gonna basically compound all my videos off of this information. Understand this, that your nutrition is the information you're putting in your body, super important. Learning what supplements you put in your body, not some fad, not some advertising, take this and shred 35 pounds. Very rare you're gonna find anything like that. If there was a pill you could take that just shredded unwanted body fat just like that, this business would be gone. The fitness industry who would just turn into people working out and everybody's ripped and nobody cares and you don't need any of the nutrients because everybody's just shredded. <laughs> Doesn't work that way. But you got to get your energy right. You got to get your frequency right. You got to get your receptor site affinity right. It's all going to start in the gut, what we put in the gut, how the gut and the immune system are working, which I've done videos on before. But this is your key of how nutrition works. So let's get you in tune. If you have any questions, you can email me at innovativefit at iCloud.com. That is innovative. Fit, F-I-T as in fitness, at iCloud.com. I answer all my emails. God bless you. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.